Today I'm gonna be doing something just a little bit different than normal. Normally I'll be doing video related stuff such as editing, teaching you the behind the scenes of my video work, stuff like that. Today I'm actually gonna be teaching you how to denoise in Lightroom. You probably already know how to denoise. You might be running into this issue that I'm running into. The issue I had run into was trying to denoise multiple photos at once because doing it one by one is very time consuming because they take about 10 or so seconds or more if your computer's kind of slow to, you know, per photo. It's just a lot easier to batch edit them instead of doing one by one because again, that's very time consuming and very annoying annoying that manually click one photo at a time. That's gonna be what I'm teaching y'all today and it's actually a lot easier than I thought. It's also not as easy as I thought at the same time. You would think as you're editing the photos you'd be able to just select all the photos at the bottom and you know edit them all at once but nope you have to do it just a little bit differently and it comes out with the same results. So it's been about two months since I've recorded this video. As you can tell, I have a haircut now, uh, lost a little bit of weight, growing out the beard that I'm gonna shave tonight, actually. You know, I had to lose the weight so I could fit into a suit it, for like this event I worked and I didn't want to buy a new suit, so that's why I dropped all the weight. Also, I'm sorry if the audio sounds bad. I'm using a shotgun mic because my lav mic is broken because I accidentally shut my camera case on the tip of it. So the little tip that connects into the camera is broken. It's gonna take a couple weeks to come back in, so I don't know when I'll be able to actually use it again. So I probably won't be making any more new videos until then. You know, I'm making this because I need to. Besides that, apparently the method I was telling y'all didn't work actually does work. I was just doing it wrong. So I'll be showing y'all that a little bit later in the video. The method I do show does work, but this other way is also kind of easier in a way. But you know, it's all you know up to your own intuition on how you want to do it. If you like one method better than the other, then go for it. Do either one, but both methods work still, and I will do a lot more explaining on that whenever I do the demonstration. These photos I'm gonna be editing are from a shoot I did the other day. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably have already seen the video that I made for this person, as well as the photos that I've shot. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you need to follow me so you can see the work that I do. If you want to, because you watch this channel, I also post shorts and reels and stuff like that. So you get to see shorter versions of this content as well. If you don't like the full long term, you know, long form, I mean, not long term content, you can see the shorter versions on those social medias such as TikTok and Instagram. So before we get into it, when you denoise a photo, it actually doesn't turn it into a JPEG or PNG. It turns it into a DNG file, which is a different, you know, photo file. If you do a lot of drone photography, you'll probably notice that their version of like raw, I think is like DNG. If you are used to DNG files, you're going to get used to it on here as well because this is how denoising works on Lightroom for some reason. Maybe one day they'll change it to JPEG or PNG or TIFF or whatever your export you know settings you want it to be. But for now, it's only going to be DNG. And after that, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial and I will teach you how to denoise not one, but multiple photos at a time. So this photo is already edited. If we zoom in, you can kind of see the grain. You might not be able to tell that well. I mean, but if you look at her face, you can see that she has a lot of grain on her face. So what we can do is go over to this little settings tab right here at the edit tab, scroll all the way down. And there used to be a denoise feature or like slider, I should say. And now it's gone. I, I Unless I just can't see it, unless I'm blind, I think it's just completely gone. Like there's a sharpening one still, there's a grain one still, but I believe it used to be under the, the effects. So you will scroll down and you'll see denoise right here. This is right under the noise reduction and you can adjust the luminance and the color, but I'm not gonna really do any of that. I'm just gonna select denoise. It takes a second to load and when it finally loads up, it's gonna pull up a box. When the box loads up, you could actually adjust how much denoising you wanna do. If I turn it off, you can see that the grain is like literally pretty much all gone. It's gonna be a little pixelated because it's only an A7 III that I shot with. You know, I don't have an A1, so it's not the high, high res photo. But these are about 24 megabyte files, so they're still decently sized. So I'm just gonna have the amount on 100, you know, just because why not? And as you can see down here, the estimated time is actually 10 seconds. Go ahead and select enhance, and it's gonna take, you know, a few seconds. It's gonna do it up here in the corner. It's gonna do. 30 or 40 of 100. I don't know what that means. I honestly don't. I, I don't know what any of that means. So now when I go over to this little uh, tab bar down here, I go to my just now folder and you can see that the denoise edited photo is right here. And if we go over to the info right here, the metadata, you can see that is now a DNG file. Let's go ahead and go back to all the photos that we were at before. So instead of selecting like this and clicking shift click, and you would think this would work, but when I go to edit, or I mean, sorry, if I go to photo, and then I go to enhance, it doesn't show all of them at once. It only shows for this one photo. Estimated time is 25 seconds for this photo. So after I made this video, I still had a feeling that the way I was trying to do it works. I don't know why I just had it in my head like it has to work. There's no way this doesn't work. And of course it does work. I actually don't have the photos imported into Lightroom anymore. I don't know why. I thought I kept them for this, you know, this exact reason, but apparently they're gone. I must've deleted them. But I'm gonna be using photos I took a couple weeks ago to demonstrate this and it's actually very easy and I don't know why I didn't even think of doing this. So originally I 
was going over here to the settings tab and I was scrolling down trying to denoise after I have a couple of them selected. And when you do that, you're only denoising the photo that you have selected. And where is it? Okay, here it is. So whenever you click that, it's only going to denoise the photo that's popped up. A way around that is just like the way I was kind of showing, which you just have them selected, right click, and then you just click enhance. It's that simple. Literally that simple. You adjust it, you know, you have your estimated time, enhance the photos, and that's it. Literally, that's it. I don't know how dumb I felt after I had made this whole video saying that, oh, you would think it'd be that easy. It was that easy. I just wasn't doing it right. <laughs> if I cancel that, you go over to the little reels tab over here and you know, let's scroll up to the photos that I shot. Now that they're all selected, we're just gonna click photo and then enhance again. And then when we do that, it's gonna calculate the time and now you see it says 550 seconds. So I'm gonna enhance all 22 of the photos that I've already shot, you know, I left it at 100% because, you know, I'm not gonna you know, worry about too much about the quality because it's just a demonstration, but it's gonna take a minute and I guess I'll just meet back up with y'all to whenever it's done because again, it's gonna take 550 seconds. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but the fans on my M1 MacBook Pro actually kicked on. Can y'all hear that? What the f that's crazy. I've never had these like fans kick on that often. That is the loudest I've ever heard the fans go off. I didn't really listen to it whenever I exported the photos originally. It might have not gone off because I have a moth like laptop stand that I usually open up and have the laptop breathe. But today I didn't do that, which I probably should have because I'm recording like four videos. But the fans are going wild. And this is an M1 MacBook Pro maxed out minus the storage. The fact that the fans are going crazy. Ignore that, that was my speakers, uh, Oxport not plugged in. The fact that the fans are going off like that are crazy. We're only 7 out of 22 photos in. I don't know, that's kind of concerning, I think. Again, denoising is just like noise reduction, it could take a lot. But I've exported some serious videos, like, with a lot of noise reduction, and the fans, I don't think they've ever kicked on this loud. I could be completely wrong, but I also have Streamlabs running, so it could just... That could just be a factor. I don't know. All right, so it took actually a little bit longer than I thought. It probably took about seven minutes or so. So I went ahead and cut the recording after like five minutes, which I probably should have cut it sooner because that was a big file. I think like after 10 minutes, it's like 20 gigabytes. So that was my fault. But now we can go back. And as you can tell, it says one minute ago, it shows the 10 photos, which it should have shown 22. If I go to all photos, I don't know if this is a mix between the ones that I did today and the ones that I had done previously. Now there's more than, I think there was originally 22, and as you can tell, there's 47. So what I think happened is that it just put it in all photos instead of recently added because it was such a long export time that it only batched those 10 because they were within you know the same kind of time period. But that's really weird. There, there's definitely more exports here than I originally had because I had deleted all the other ones. So that's, I don't understand why that happened. So I'm assuming if you can't find your enhanced photos, just go all the way down to you know the bottom of all photos and you should find them there. But that is very weird. I don't get why that happened. So I actually figured out why I put all my enhanced photos into the all photos folder. It's actually because I didn't create a titled folder with all the photos that I imported. So when you import your photos, make sure to just create a folder for it and it have it separate. So whenever you enhance them, it keeps them all together. I hope this video helped you out. And again, if you want to see short form versions of this content, you can go ahead and follow my Instagram and my TikTok and I think my shorts, which I don't have a shorts page. I just post shorts on here. But I do normally make the short form content there as well. So go ahead and follow all those. Make sure you know you keep it up to date with the projects because you get the behind the scenes sometimes if i make a behind the scenes vlog which i've been doing a lot recently well i say a lot i have a couple of them I haven't edited yet but they'll probably be out before this make sure you follow you know keep up it's just you, you know cool things happening sometimes i just be editing some cool stuff or i'll be shooting some cool stuff i never know my life is weird i can be shooting something cool or something boring you just you never know that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it have a good day Bye. yeah Last summer, I was in love. Now I just don't give a fuck